Hi, I'm Nicolene Peck, and I teach parenting and good communication, how to build strong family bonds all over the world through the lens of the principle self-government. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about authoritative parenting and the pros and cons to that type of parenting. In this video, we're gonna talk about what is authoritative parenting, how does it compare to the other types of parenting, and then what are the pros and cons of authoritative parenting? I know that a lot of people think that authoritative parenting is the way to go, but there are some drawbacks to it too. There are three different types of parenting, and I talk about those in my book, Popular Parenting Methods. Those three different types of parenting are modern progressive parenting, and then bully fear-based parenting and traditional strict parenting. Very few people really execute traditional strict parenting well, which is the one type of parenting that is the authoritative type of parenting. Most people end up falling into the category of modern progressive parenting, where they're a little bit more permissive or they're a little bit more consumed with how a child is feeling to the point that they actually cater to feelings instead of doing teaching, directing for the children, which would maintain roles in the family. When we maintain our roles in our family, then we have a functional family. If the roles are dismantled in the family, then we experience a lot of dysfunction. So in order to maintain function, we have to make sure that our parenting is on mark. The bully fear-based parenting is a real manipulative type of parenting. So that's over here. The modern progressive type of parenting, which is a more permissive or neglectful style of, style of parenting, is on this side of, say, a spectrum. So where is the traditional strict or authoritative type parenting? It's not on here at all. True authoritative or traditional strict type of parenting is on a completely separate plane. It's a point, a fixed point. It doesn't move. And that's because your principles and your practice match each other. Bully fear-based, modern progressive, or permissive parenting, or sometimes what people think they're doing with authoritative, but it's really not, is on this manipulative line. If you feel like you need to do something to make somebody do something else, or make them feel bad because of whatever, or understand their feelings a little bit more so that they will whatever, you could be on that spectrum of manipulation. A true authoritative parent, a person who is traditional strict, they have a plan for how they're going to communicate with their children. They have skills planned out. They have confidence in their parenting because they know what to say and when. And their children know too. So it's not a big emotional battle with the children. In fact, none of it is emotionally manipulative. Everything that happens is very open conversation. We discuss feelings. We discuss behaviors. We discuss thought processes. We make plans for the future. We allow a child to learn skills and accept negative consequences. That's right. That's the one place where a lot of people people fall off the authoritative track. Nowadays, they go to modern progressive because they don't want any negative consequences for a behavior. When a person learns to self-govern themselves, they have to understand cause and effect because that's part of the definition of self-government. And so the person needs to have the opportunity to accept their consequences. Now, what those consequences are, we could talk about on a completely different video. But in this video, what I want to talk about is that true authoritative parenting and what the pros and cons are of that type of parenting. But before we do, what type of parent are you? Be completely honest. Put it in the chat below. How do you know what type of parent you are? And could you use help at all? If so, ask any questions that you have in the chat. And when I get a chance, I'll get to answering those. So let's talk about the pros and cons. The pros to authoritative parenting should be pretty obvious. When you are an authoritative parent, you should be able to be less emotional yourself. You should be able to be more logical because authoritative parents, true ones, have a plan. They know how they are going to handle any circumstance. They have skills at their disposal. So that means that they know what skill to use, 
when. This means that they don't go to an emotional part of their brain when something happens. They go to the logical part of their brain. They start describing what's going on and start assessing what skill they need at that particular time and how to teach the child. They also should be more heart to heart connected with their child as well. So if you're authoritative, you should be thinking, I care about you. I want to understand you. Even if you have to help the child get to a calm place so that they can be understood first. But of course, that's okay because everyone knows you and the child that that's just part of the authoritative plan. We get to calmness, then we talk about it. And when we talk about it, we can share all of our feelings, but we're going to do it in a way that empowers us instead of holds us captive to our feelings every time. A parent learns how to have those conversations when they're truly authoritative. They don't get stuck in the mire of the feelings with the child. Instead, they're able to talk about the feelings, be understanding, but also help empower the child forward. So these are all pros. You connect better with your child. You discuss more with your child. You make plans with your child. You have more confidence and security in your connections. Your child should not feel like they're being hurt or attacked by you. They should instead feel very united and connected. These are all really positive things. Could there really be any cons? Yes, there are. Of course there are cons. Every good decision that you make, every good behavior that you have, has its pros and its cons, its advantages and disadvantages. Now most of the advantages or cons for being authoritative in your parenting would only be observed as cons or disadvantages if a person has a hard time actually being deliberate, being calm, and living according to a plan. But don't worry, at the end of this video, I'm going to give you something that will help with your calmness if you happen to identify as that type of a parent. So what are some of the cons? One of the cons is you're not going to emotionally vent on your child. That parenting is not gonna be about you. You're not gonna be talking about how you feel and what you think and, and what you are going through. That's not gonna be what it's about. When you're authoritative in your parenting, you keep it about the child so that the child can learn self-regulation or self-government. What are you going to do? You're going to be stable. You're going to be secure. That means that you have to learn your own self-government. Learning self-government is one of the hardest things that we can ever learn because we have to get rid of the lies, hold on to the truths, learn the skills, and deliberately follow through. It takes some effort. So you might say that that's a con if you already are struggling with your parenting and with your emotional regulation. But it's also a pro because once you learn to self-govern yourself, then that's where the confidence comes in. That's where you become stable. Another con would be that you don't get to make excuses for your parenting anymore. Yep, that's right. You don't get to make excuses. So you might be the type of parent that you are used to pointing blame at somebody else, but when you're truly authoritative, you shouldn't need to blame anybody else. You should have a plan and be able to follow through. And if your plan doesn't seem to be working, you should be able to assess that, adjust your plan and move forward. No blame necessary. Authoritative parenting, or what I call traditional strict type of parenting, is the most effective type of parenting there is. It changes hearts and behaviors if it's done properly. There are some people that think they're authoritative. I met a person just the other day. She went over the top telling me how much self-government has changed her life, changed her family. I was so happy for her to ha hear that type of report. But then I saw her children walking all over her. And I went, ah, oh, she's made progress. She's made improvement. She's not angry. She's not a momster anymore. But her children are not listening to her well. Her children are doing whatever they want. She's now being completely modern progressive. So, so she's flipped to the other side of that spectrum. She didn't find the happy spot, the true authoritative happy spot yet, even though she's trying to use some of the skills that I teach her. Being authoritative is a mindset. It's a mindset all about controlling you. And when you control you and teach the children that they, the skills that they need for self-control, then everyone controls themselves better. It is possible. I want to start you out with a free gift that will help you. This mom was struggling with calmness. She definitely still needs a little bit more help with it. And everyone usually starts with a need for calmness. 
I have a free Calm Parenting Toolkit that you can have for free right now. If you click on the link below this video to the Calm Parenting Toolkit, then you can get the Calm Parenting Toolkit for free. So go click on the link that says teachselfgov.com toolkit right now, and I'll see you there.